AM5 motherboards for Ryzen 7000 and 9000. Ryzen 7000 and Ryzen 9000 processors require motherboards with the AM5 socket. In this socket design, the pins are located on the motherboard itself, not on the processor. AM5 motherboards belong to the 600 series and 800 series chipsets. They provide support for DDR5 memory, PCI Express Generation 5, and modern storage and connectivity features. These boards form the foundation for all new Ryzen builds and are essential when using the latest CPUs. B650 motherboards. The B650 chipset is the entry point for AM5 systems. These boards usually support two to three solid state drive slots and a broad range of USB ports. Most B650 motherboards have PCI Express Generation 4 graphics slots, which remain fully compatible with current graphics cards. Even high-end cards such as the RTX 5090 run correctly at Generation 4 speeds. However, AMD is gradually retiring B650 boards, so while they still receive firmware updates, they will eventually disappear from the market. B650E motherboards. The B650E chipset is a step up from standard B650. The E stands for Extreme, and these boards upgrade the main graphics slot to PCI Express Generation 5. They also often add stronger power delivery and more robust cooling solutions. With no meaningful price increase compared to B650, and with PCI Express Generation 5 available for both graphics and storage, B650E boards are a more future-proof choice for most gaming builds. B850 Motherboards The B850 chipset is the newest mid-range option in the AM5 lineup. Like B650E, these boards almost always feature PCI Express Generation 5 graphics slots. They typically include between two and four solid-state drive slots, with at least one running at Generation 5 speeds. Many models add faster wired Ethernet, such as 2.5 gigabit connections and built-in Wi-Fi support. B850 is rapidly becoming the standard choice for balanced Ryzen 7000 and 9000 builds because it combines broad compatibility, reasonable pricing, and modern features. X870 Motherboards The X870 chipset is designed for high-end Ryzen 7000 and 9000 builds. These boards expand storage support to four or even five solid-state drive slots, many of which can operate at PCI Express Generation 5 speed. X870 motherboards also increase rear connectivity, with more total USB ports and faster transfer speeds. Most models include stronger wired networking, such as 2.5 gigabit Ethernet, and some feature 5 gigabit Ethernet. Built-in Wi-Fi is also common with the latest boards supporting Wi-Fi 7. These motherboards use heavier heat sinks and upgraded power delivery, making them more stable under heavy workloads. However, some entry-level X870 models offer fewer features than strong B850 boards, so careful comparison is important. X870E motherboards. The X870E chipset represents the most premium tier of AM5 motherboards. The E stands for Extreme. These boards guarantee PCI Express Generation 5 support on both the main graphics slot and multiple solid-state drive slots. Almost all X870E models include four or more full bandwidth drive slots with dedicated heat sinks. Rear USB connectivity is expanded further often including multiple Type-C ports running at high speeds, and in some cases, USB 4 at 40 gigabits per second. Audio quality is also upgraded with advanced codecs that support high-impedance headphones. X870E boards are intended for users who need maximum stability, storage capacity, and connectivity, such as creators and enthusiasts running Ryzen 9 processors. A 620 motherboards. The A620 chipset is the most cut-down option in the AM5 family. These boards only support PCI Express Generation 4 for graphics and storage, and they lack support for precision boost overdrive. This means the processor cannot automatically boost performance to its full potential. 
They also ship with limited connectivity and weaker power delivery. Because their price is often close to better, B850 models, a 620 boards are rarely a good choice except in very compact systems where only the smallest motherboards fit. B840 motherboards. The B840 chipset is another low-end option. Like A620, it is limited to PCI Express Generation 4 and does not support precision boost overdrive. These boards typically cut down on USB ports, storage slots, and power delivery. Since they are not much cheaper than stronger B850 motherboards, they provide little value. For most users, B840 boards should be avoided. AM4 motherboards for Ryzen 5000. Ryzen 5000 processors use the AM4 socket. In this design, the pins are located on the processor itself, not on the motherboard. AM4 boards belong to the 400 series and 500 series chipsets. They are now considered legacy options but still matter for budget and upgrade paths. B550 motherboards. The B550 chipset is the most practical choice for Ryzen 5000 processors. These boards usually include two SSD slots. One of these runs at PCI Express Generation 4 speed, while the other runs at Generation 3. This makes them well suited for budget graphics cards and storage upgrades. Many models include decent power delivery, multiple rear USB ports, and built-in Wi-Fi. B550 remains the best option for cost-effective Ryzen 5000 builds. X570 motherboards. The X570 chipset was once the premium option for Ryzen 3000 and 5000 series. These boards provided extensive connectivity and multiple PCI Express Generation 4 slots. However, new X570 boards are nearly impossible to find today, and used options may lack up-to-date firmware. Because of scarcity and age, X570 is no longer a practical choice for new builds, even though it still offers strong performance if already owned. A520 motherboards. The A520 chipset is a budget option for AM4. These boards are limited to PCI Express Generation 3 for both graphics and storage. This creates compatibility issues with many modern graphics cards that expect at least Generation 4 bandwidth. They also cut down on USB ports and do not support overclocking. Because of these restrictions, a 520 boards are only recommended for very basic systems. B450 motherboards. The B450 chipset is even older, designed for Ryzen 2000 and 3000 processors. Like A520, these boards are limited to PCI Express Generation 3. They also lack support for the latest Ryzen 5000 models without a firmware update, and even then, compatibility is inconsistent. While still functional for legacy builds, B450 is outdated for new systems and should be avoided if building with Ryzen 5000 today. A TX motherboards. A TX is the standard full-size motherboard format. It measures about 30 centimeters by 24 centimeters. A TX boards provide the most balanced layout with multiple expansion slots, four memory slots, and room for several solid state drives. Most mid-range and high-end Ryzen motherboards are built in ATX size, making it the most common and versatile form factor. Micro ATX motherboards. Micro ATX boards are about two-thirds the size of ATX, roughly 24 centimeters by 24 centimeters. They usually provide fewer expansion slots, but still include four memory slots and at least two SSD slots. Micro ATX is popular for budget and compact builds because it fits in smaller cases while still supporting most essential features. EATX motherboards. EATX stands for Extended ATX. These boards are the same height as ATX, but are wider, around 30 centimeters by 30 centimeters. The extra space is used for additional SSD slots, more robust power delivery, and enhanced cooling. EATX boards are mainly found in premium X series models and fit only in larger cases. Mini ITX motherboards. Mini ITX is the smallest common form factor measuring 17 centimeters by 17 centimeters. These boards usually have only two memory slots 
and one main graphics slot. Storage options are limited to one or two SSD slots. Mini ITX boards are used for very small form factor builds, such as compact gaming PCS or home theater systems. They require careful part selection because of limited space and reduced connectivity. ASRock Motherboards ASRock produces a wide range of AM5 boards across budget and premium segments. Entry-level models such as the B850M-X Revision 2 provide two SSD slots and a PCI Express Generation 5 graphics slot, suitable for Ryzen 5 and Ryzen 7 processors. More advanced boards, such as the B850M Pro F Wi-Fi, add three full bandwidth SSD slots, adequate power delivery for processors up to Ryzen 9 and built-in Wi-Fi 6. Premium ASRock boards, including X870 and X870E Taichi series, expand to four or more SSD slots with full heat sinks, upgraded audio codecs, and additional rear USB connectivity. ASRock also offers compact mini ITX models like the B850i Lightning with two SSD slots, Wi-Fi 7, and 2.5 gigabit Ethernet. MSI Motherboards MSI targets both mainstream and enthusiast markets. The Pro Series, such as the B850MP Wi-Fi, integrates Wi-Fi 7 and 5 gigabit Ethernet at affordable prices. The Mag Tomahawk series in B850 and X870 variants is aimed at gamers, with three or more SSD slots, reinforced graphics slots, and individual heat sinks on each drive. MSI Premium boards often feature multiple Type-C ports on the rear panel, including models with three Type-C connections below the X870 level. Mini ITX boards, such as the MPGB850i Edge, include Wi-Fi 7, strong networking, and compact layouts, although they sometimes require active chipset cooling with a small fan. Gigabyte Motherboards Gigabyte offers value-oriented options in the Eagle and Gaming lines, plus high-end Aorus models. The B850M Eagle Wi-Fi and Gaming X Wi-Fi provide two to three SSD slots, decent VRM cooling, and built-in shields, making them popular budget choices. Premium Aorus X870 motherboards expand connectivity with multiple Type-C ports, upgraded audio, and four full-speed solid-state drive slots under a single heatsink plate. Gigabyte also leads in all-white designs, with ICE additions across B850 and X870 boards that maintain white styling across connectors and heatsinks. Compact models such as the X870i Aorus Pro ICE combine mini ITX form factor with Wi-Fi 7 and 6 high-speed USB ports. Asus Motherboards ASUS divides its lineup into Prime, TUF, Strix, and ROG series. Prime and TUF boards like the B650E Plus focus on balanced features at mid-range prices, with three solid-state drive slots and ALC1220 audio. Strix and ROG boards climb higher in price, with X870 and X870E options offering four or more solid-state drive slots, reinforced cooling, and extensive RGB lighting. These boards often include Wi-Fi 7, upgraded rear USB layouts with multiple Type-C ports, and distinctive styling. Compact boards such as the Strix B850i Gaming Wi-Fi support Mini ITX systems with two solid-state drive slots, high-speed USB ports, and Wi-Fi 7. I made an awesome video about every AMD Ryzen processors, so don't forget to watch it later, okay?